What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Yes, We're Here, Yankees edition. Good news, baseball is back. And Meredith, a year ago at this time, we weren't just enjoying baseball. We were also enjoying culture in the beautiful city of London. Yankees rode high into London off a walk-off win um, on an afternoon game at the stadium, then flew to London. And, um, I mean, we still talk about this trip, Meredith. You know, first and foremost, there was just this sort of very unique, euphoric feel to being in London with the Yankees, right? It just felt like this sort of like rock star experience, huge event. And it, it was, I mean, it didn't, it wasn't, it was a very memorable trip. It's not overstating it to say it was one of those like once in a lifetime feeling experiences. It was unbelievably awesome, and I don't think anybody would accuse us of being wrong if we said, Ryan, we were really living our best lives out there. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a heck of a time, and we started it off with a bang. Remember, you and I got together at the Four Seasons to do a little afternoon tea, which was yeah. delightful, if I must say so. And while it's not the same because there's nobody playing the piano in the background, just for you, I brought out my green tea that I made oh ice cream tea it's lovely kind of like we're back there but not really at all well, you know what if you remember we also were given champagne with that tea as well i should have thought of that before we started this right <laughs> <laughs> you know what that was so much fun there was just like rounds and rounds of different food during the uh the tea tasting that we did it was like this little snack this little snack it was um and i i was coming off the the red eye you know the the famous red eye in which nobody really slept thanks to some you know particularly loud relief pitchers. And we, and, and I'm just like, you know, you, when you feel dazed, and you're like, man, I just need to eat something to get some energy. And they're just giving us round after round of, you know, uh, I, it was just like little sandwiches, little cookies, little bites, like, Oh, what a way to start that trip. It really was amazing. So nice. Well, earlier in the day, I actually was at Borough Market, which I don't know if you made it there. I at did. All during that what a wonderful place they had all kinds of different food and stuff you can buy and that was really cool because i ran into one fan that actually plays on a professional team and i believe it was switzerland so he saw us in the market and couldn't be more excited he had made the trip to watch the yankees and the red Sox, and couldn't believe that the yes network was there in borough market which was kind of <laughs> cool but i don't know if you got that as you walked around more and more when we first got there it almost felt like people weren't completely aware with what was going on but as time passed you could feel the excitement kind of growing before that first game definitely no doubt um there was a there was sort of a Super Bowl feel to it, is what it reminded me of, where you can, you can feel the energy and the atmosphere uh, surrounding the game in so many places outside of the stadium, right? Um, and I think as, you know, we crept closer to the game and as you saw, you know, banners hanging up in different places and Red Sox hats and Yankees hats, uh, you got this feel of like, oh, this is a huge event. And I remember I really felt that way uh, when – the introductions were done uh, and the teams were announced, you know, and, uh, and the pomp and circumstance just felt like, Oh, like this is big. Like this is, this is a huge event. And obviously, you know, having the Royal family there didn't hurt either. I mean, that, that made it feel like a big event as well, Meredith. I, I was going to say anytime the Royal family walks into the Yankees clubhouse and they <laughs> present him, I believe with a little onesie that said Archie, I mean, come on, like <laughs> they weren't expecting that. I spoke to a couple guys after that and they just couldn't believe that that had happened. And, and you mentioned some of the pregame festivities. It did very much feel like a playoff game of some sort, the way they did the national anthem, the way they did, uh, basically a whole concert before the, thir the first pitch was thrown. Two things that I'll always remember from those games, not only the exorbitant amount of runs and the way the ball was just flying off the bat, but also how hot it was. It was so unseasonably warm and everybody was just saying, oh my gosh, I can't, there was no air in that stadium. Yeah. I couldn't believe how hot it was. They were worried about players. And we were sitting up somewhere towards the uh, top of the stadium in the media section. And I know at one point in time, we just kind of looked at each other and we're like, whoa, this one's steaming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it was, it got ridiculous and maybe helped the ball fly out there because 
something was contributing to those arena-like baseball scores. You know, I remember also thinking, like, talking to different players and them saying the fact that we came all this way and then won both games and won both games against the Red Sox. Like that is only, you know, further enhancing the enjoyment of the experience and making it all feel worthwhile. Right. Because, you know, no matter what, I think everybody had a good time. Right. Because you really did get to take in the culture and there were people who, who did, you know, different, you know, tourist type activities throughout, um, you know, visiting Borough Market, visiting different historical sites, just getting to walk around what's an unbelievably charming city, whether you're walking over London Bridge or Tower Bridge, or in Meredith's case, both as you walk 15 miles a day there. Like, all that stuff was amazing. But then if, you, if you're the Yankees and you add on to it two wins, it's like, oh, yeah, not only was it amazing, but, like, you know, the whole thing really was great. And we'll do it again anytime you want. I hope, fingers crossed, we get to do another trip like that, whether it be in London or somewhere else. But... You know, I think of that, you, you talked about some of the landmarks. Before the games even started, they had that event at the Tower of London. Major League yeah. Baseball closed down the Tower of London. That was an unbelievable event, too, where a lot of the Yankees players were able to go and bring their family members. And I think that was one of the cool things about it, too, that it wasn't just, yes, baseball, first and foremost, want to win the games. But also, they made it into a real family experience inviting their wives and kids. Mm. And some players had never even been out of the country before. So yeah. this is a huge, huge deal for them to be somewhere that, that's not U.S. soil. So that was pretty cool in that event. And it's funny, you, you brought up the winning of the two games. When you talk to a Yankees player, I feel like they have a wildly different account of things <laughs> as opposed to when you talk to a Red Sox player. A lot of the Red Sox players after the fact said the conditions were not very good. It's not yeah. suitable for Major League Baseball in that ballpark, all that stuff. And hey, maybe I'd feel that way too if I was on the losing side. But, um, you know, I don't yeah. know. It not is funny, that, but I'm saying, you know, anytime in life that, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not on the losing side, you know? Yeah. You're going to have a little different memory of it then. Yeah. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. I definitely think that helps shape the positive experience. And, you know, Meredith, you just saying that about them closing down Tower of London, it just sparked to me like the awesome feeling of seeing these guys and the way they were in awe, right. And the way they marveled at the experience and that to me was so cool because you put something on like this, if you're major league baseball and you hope that it's this unforgettable, unique experience, not just for the fans, but for all the parties involved, right. And for the players um, and to see basically a universally positive reaction from those parties involved and sort of that, like that awe and energy and amazement at the experience of being there in London, representing major league baseball was so cool. And I know, Meredith, you and I had a ridiculously positive experience as well. I can't wait till we get to go back. Maybe next time, you know, it's in Italy. Why not take it to another country in Europe? You know how much I love Italy. I know you love Italy. So if yep. we could make that happen, I am all in. Uh, Ryan, you forgot to bring up the fact that we were almost involved in the mascot race. Oh, that's, Meredith, <laughs> that's an excellent point. We, we were, we, we came close. Um, we, we donned parts of the costume uh, for a brief moment in time. Unfortunately, uh, we were not able to actually sneak out onto the field as Winston Churchill or other different historical figures uh, in the history of England. Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Meredith, it's so nice. Uh, it, it's so nice getting to reminisce about London. It really is. I know. It's been wonderful. It Good has. memories ahead, we hope, with the 2020 baseball season.